I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Queen of Pentacles. And it's with the Ten of Pentacles. So, what this is telling me is that with the Ten of Pentacles here, the card that's below the word pass, well, it's indicating that you actually had a really good relationship. Ten of Pentacles. Everyone wants a Ten of Pentacles in a reading. So, you could have been involved with someone that you felt like the relationship was going somewhere. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Everything is good. Happy wife. Happy life. Happy kids. Happy siblings. Happy pets. Just overall, everything felt right. Everything felt good. Money is good when you get the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. But, it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, Queen of Pentacles can be about just taking comfort and joy in the ordinary things. Yeah, it can be about falling back. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that for some of you Libras, <clears throat> things were going good, but you felt the need to fall back from this connection. Yeah, you just could have stepped away from it, or you just fell back. You kind of wanted to, I don't know, maybe just re remove your energy from it. Because if you look at the Queen of Pentacles, the card above the word pass, she's falling back, she's in her backyard, she's sitting in her lounge chair, she's got her dog sleeping on her toes, keeping her feet warm. And she's feeding the birds and the squirrels. And she's just falling back, um, taking comfort in just the ordinary things. Queen of Pentacles can be um, a homebody, just staying close to home. But what I'm getting is that for some of you, Leos, you... You, f you wanted to fall back from the connection, but it was going good, so I don't know, but something must have happened. But let's move on over. Let's see if we can get some clarity. So coming up, we got the Queen of Cups, and it's with the Two of Swords. Now, the Queen of Cups is a very healing, it's a very nurturing type of energy or type of person. So... This could be your person coming up, the person that you fell back from. They could be reaching out to you with love. The Queen of Cups is a very loving type of person, um, very healing. So your, per your person wants to heal. They want to fix whatever went wrong, whatever made you feel like you wanted to fall back from this connection. Yeah, they've got a lot of they've got a lot of love for you. Whenever you see the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in a reading, just know that there's an element of pure and true love in your life 
no matter what the situation is, when you get those two cards. Whenever you see those cards in a reading. So, this person could be reaching out to you, wanting to fix it, wanting to heal it. Nurture the connection. And be supportive of whatever the reason was that made you fall back. But, Two of Swords is here, so it's telling me that you still feel like pulling back your energy. For some of you, you could feel like you're having a difficult time making a decision about what to do about this connection. And some of you will choose to avoid and block this person. Because that's what the Queen of that's what the Two of Swords does. Two of Swords is a card below the word present. But they're reaching out to you. They want to heal it. They want to heal the connection. They want to fix it and nurture it. For some of you, you're dealing with a Cancer or Scorpio or a Pisces. But let's move on over. Let's take a look. And see what the challenge is. We got the world card and the page of wands. So. This world card can be about closure. Closing a chapter. Ending a cycle. Yeah, it's about completion. And it's with the page of wands. So. Page of wands reaches out with messages of love. And affection. Yeah. So like I said, uh, Libra, this person, they have a lot of love for you. Yes, they do with the Queen of Cups here. And a lot of passion for you with the Page of Wands. Um, it looks like they'll continue to reach out to you. Yes, it's showing up in the challenge. They could be feeling that you, you're trying to end a chapter with them. They could be getting that that vibe from you. And here they come again. They're reaching out. For some of you, this person could be younger than you because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student. That can indicate youth. It can indicate immaturity. Yeah, they could be younger than you by a few days, a few months, a few years, and for some of you, yeah, a few decades. Yep, some of you do get down like that. Yes, you do. This person has a lot of love for you. They feel that you're ready to close the book on this chapter. They're not ready to let you go, though. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. So we got the Eight of Swords and it's with the Tower. Now, Eight of Swords, holding yourself back. You could be afraid to move towards this person or you could be afraid of getting hurt by this situation or maybe for no reason at all. Now, the Tower card can be about things falling apart. But I'm not getting, I'm not really getting that in a, in a big way. I'm getting, I'm getting more like something is coming up that could be shocking. Yeah, you could be shocked by something. I'm just getting more shocked than things falling apart. Because I'm getting things that have already fell apart because they were really good in the recent past but so i'm just getting something you could be finding out or you could be hearing something or your person could be saying something to you that could be shocking coming that's what the outcome is something is going to be shocking to you could maybe it's what they're saying but you're holding yourself back still. Eight of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Swords does not put one foot in front of the other. 
He just stands there, no matter how hot the fire is behind him. So, that's the reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Libra reading, just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Libra. I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.